So we were discussing uh, this proof and given a set which is infinite and a function a to b is 1 to 1 and we wish to show that b is also infinite. We already attempted one proof that says uh, a is infinite so f of a is infinite, f of a is a subset of b therefore the superset b is also infinite. Now we are attempting one more. As part of this, we will get an explicit function. For example, uh, here is a function h from b to b and we will now show that uh, h is 1 to 1 and h of b is a strict subset of b. So to come up with h, I will make use of f also the function g which is uh, from a to a and g is 1 to 1 and g of a is a strict subset of a. Okay, so that's our uh, goal. Okay. To come up with h which is from b to b, what I will do is, I uh, will focus on this map f which is from a to b. This can be seen as uh, f of a and b minus f of a. So all of A is mapped to this part and this part there is no pre-image. Now we are going to come up with H from B to B given this picture. Okay. So the function H this will be mapped to X itself if X belongs to b minus f of e and suppose the x is coming from b minus this then I am saying uh, it is an identity map uh, it is mapped to b minus f of e ok it, h of x is x itself identity map suppose it is from f of a part. Suppose it is from f of a part, then how do we map this? So what I will do, x, we have just now observed, because f is 1 to 1, a to f of a is bijective. So f is f inverse exists. So take f inverse. So now I am here, I am taking f inverse, then I will come to this side. Now we know that there is a function g which is mapping a to a itself. You compose g with that. And that map is such that it is a strict subset of A. The all of G, all of A is mapped to strict subset of A. Now, which in turn I want to map it to B, which means you take F again. So, H of X is this, if X is coming from this. So, you take an element from here and uh, now you take f inverse of x, you will go to a part, correct? Now you take uh, g of that, g of that will give you a strict subset of a. So all of a is mapped to strict subset of a. And that strict subset, you map it to b with the help of f, so you get strict subset of so in particular, all of this will be mapped to strict subset of f of a and in particular, uh, this will be mapped to strict subset of f of a and which means uh, the function b to b is such that uh, the h of b is a strict subset of b. So what did we do? 
v2 the map in such way that uh, we are uh, leaving some part of uh, you know f of a you can look at it this way so b can be seen as b minus f of a and uh, f of a in case you take an element from b minus f of a then you go for identity map this one if x is from f of a what are we doing we are taking f inverse and moving to a then i am making use of g and taking a strict subset correct and this can be seen as uh, then you are taking uh, g of uh, this right so this can be seen as f composition g of a which means what g of a is a strict subset of a to that you take f and this would be f of a minus f composition of a now all of this is mapped to this part this part is left out so if you take uh, an element from f of a and with the help of uh, f inverse you go to a then you take uh, g of that g of that will give you a strict subset of a then with respect to strict subset of a you take f so you will go to a strict subset of f of a and the other part of uh, f of a is left out which means you see that uh, here is a function from b to b such that uh, b is 1 to 1 because this one is an identity map and this map you do it with the help of this and we know f is 1 to 1 and g is 1 to 1 so therefore this part is also 1 to 1 not just that h of b is a strict subset of b to get a strict subset of this we are making use of f and g so take an element from f of a and with the help of that uh, i am moving to a using f inverse and from a to a itself i am doing a map with the help of g and subsequently i come to b again with the help of f but while doing so what happens uh, all of this part f of a is mapped to f of a. a then all of a is mapped to strict subset of a using g which means some part is left out and which in turn is uh, mapped to b so therefore uh, you get a function from b to b such that uh, h of b is a strict sub subset of b so very interesting uh, claim now as an application uh, we can show many well known sets are infinite uh, using uh, this claim which we shall see now so we have seen two different proofs one proof says uh, a is infinite therefore f of a is infinite and f is 1 to 1 so f is 1 to 1 so therefore f of a is infinite f of a is a strict sub subset of b so b is also infinite there is one more way of proving this that's what we have done now but this gives me an explicit map and each element in b where exactly it is mapped to b itself and uh, what part of uh, b do not have pre image with respect to this map so that we got it and now we shall see couple of uh, case studies or applications uh, making use of these results